Hello and welcome. My name is Philip Kent and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Plus post on your blog or website. That's coming up right after the intro. Alright, so the topic of this video is how to embed a Google Plus post on your blog or your website. So, first you're going to need to go to Google Plus and you're going to need to locate a post that you want to share. So, I've picked this one right here by Lauren Henry and I'm going to go to the options menu and I'm going to go down to embed post. And then you're going to want to copy and paste this, all of this text. So, copy and paste it, hit done and you're going to want to take it to the the edit page of your blog and I have embed test one that's the page name this is the edit page for that page and this is the page itself so right now it's just blank it just has a title and a, I guess a subtitle so we will make sure you go to the text editor not the visual editor to post the code control V post the code in there hit update and then head on over to this page and hit refresh and there it is so that's a that's a great way to increase the the lifespan of your social media posts more specifically your Google Plus posts um, you can you can comment and you can plus one directly from the post which is nice if you need to get the uh, the permalink for it you just hit you can either hit shared publicly or excuse me you can either hit uh, Google Plus up here and that'll take you directly to the post page and you can get the permalink for it if you'd like to link to it if uh, if you'd like to if you'd like to view post activity you can click on the little down arrow right here which will let you view post activity um, you can follow these individuals too if you if you're not following so, if, for instance, if he was not already in one of my circles, I could follow him from directly from here, um, which is a great way to, you know, if you if you do like a blog post or something, like a guest post, you know, include an embed code for some kind of quote from one of your social media sites, whichever one you you really want to get people to, um, maybe like your Twitter or whatever, and um, you just the only thing you need to keep in mind is that it will. Uh, add some bandwidth and load time to the page so again just keep that in mind you don't want to go crazy with it but it's uh, it's it's definitely something you want to you should test out because it just it allows your, your Google Plus posts to live so much longer than they would if they were just in the newsfeed and lastly if you need to uh, get support information if you've already got the post embedded you can click on this little icon right here and it will take you to the support page for uh, the how to embed Google Plus posts so if you're having any issues you can always check that out and thank you for watching this video if you haven't yet go ahead and like the video and uh, then hit the subscribe button and you'll be you'll be notified every time I come up with a new video on on all these awesome social media and web analytics tips that I've got. Um, and if you'd like more information, you can head on over to my website, which is www.amateurithelpstation.com. There'll be a link for that at the end of the video as well. And sign up for my newsletter, which uh, is this red box right here, and you'll get you'll get my best tips in uh, an email that I don't talk about publicly. Thank you for your time and I will see you later.